Hey guys, cool scratcher here back with another um scratch video. And today we are basically gonna be do doing something and but but first I wanna show you guys this real quick. This is basically my profile where uh as you can see we have about me uh it's just like uh I'm I'm called Mohi and yeah, I, I made, I, I, I do a lot of stuff, and, uh, yeah, so I basically have, like, a logo on dress, uh, I have a lot of stuff to do, this is Spy I Drew, logo on entry, the two-player tanking, I have a lot going over here, and it says, watch if you're new, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on uh over here and i i i don't know like i really want to do something and i and and i'm just gonna show you guys how to make this really cool thing so let's see my last game it's called fight Really, it's called a fight. So today, we're basically gonna be uh, doing a fight game, and there's only four four sets. So right now, and as you can see, um, if I uh, hide this, as you can see, that's just a simple jump, and I'm actually really proud of my of that uh, jump, and. He actually goes a little bit higher with each move, but we don't want that. So, uh, okay, I'm just gonna go over uh, what you actually want to do. What, uh, what code? So, uh, you have this cat, and I, I made it anywhere, a any way I want. But I just have only one costume for now, just just because you can upgrade your armor. You know, he starts out with steel armor. So I'm gonna show you guys. So first it says one flock left, uh, point in direction zero. So that basically means I'm pointing in the direction up. And then I repeated the ten. Uh, I repeat ten to move fifteen steps and turn right fifteen degrees. Now now you can meddle with any kind of numbers that you want like over here if i do 15 as you can see he moves kind of the wrong way and i, I like he, he just loops around in like a circle and that is not what you want like as you can see he just went all, like a little bit down that's why i just found 10 perfect for me but you can do any kind of um numbers that you want so as you can see does that he, he's jumping currently but now I'm gonna take out this one flat click, and I'm gonna put a uh, one space key pressed. So now when he, I can actually jump like that. But now he's climbing higher and higher. So now I'm gonna put a one flat click. Uh, uh, actually, I'm gonna sh uh, this title is exceptional. You don't really need this, and he's actually pretty easy to create. Just have a rectangle filled with um, that effect. You know where it's it looks like it's a circle. I don't know. It's in vector mode. That's all I know. But <laughs> um, you want one, uh, one flock clicked forever. Um, if drag in a knot, touching. Now it's it says edge. I'm gonna keep it for edge, right now. But we have to create uh, a bottom sprite, the ground sprite, basically. If not touching edge, uh, you want to points in direction one eighty. Uh, um, sorry, you want to wrap that in a uh, repeat until touching edge. Now this should, this should work, so as you can see. Uh, so he goes, yeah, so you have to point in the direction of zero. So I'm going to go over here now. 
dragon right over there. He falls, but he loops around because he's pointing in there. So you, you want to set the direction to zero. Why isn't this working? Oh, if not touch it. Okay. Actually. Actually, no. Sorry, guys. Uh, this pointing direction should be right over there. So now, yeah, he, he jumps normally. Unfortunately, now he, the arrow keys don't work. So I think, yeah, yeah, he goes like that. He goes diagonal, but, you know, the jumps are still pretty good. But as you can see, he's touching the edge, so he's going that way. But um, if he's touching this edge, it doesn't matter, and it's not sending him down. That's why we need a ground sprite. And as you can see, he's kind of levitating when you jump. Like, as you can see, if I drop him. Oh, so it's kind of like a little bit of lag, kind of, and he's kind of, his feet are kind of going like all the way down there, and that's something that we don't want, so that's another reason to create a ground sprite. So as you can see, when I press the space bar, he starts jumping, and that's actually pretty cool. So you can actually make him jump, and this is actually a pretty smooth jump. You can actually make a j uh, jump... Uh, costumes if you want to animate him but i'm not gonna animate him for now but yeah gravity still works if he's not touching the edge like if he's touching the edge he's gonna be fine but if i jump him yeah he goes up there because he's touching the edge if we jump again oh he's still touching the edge still touching the edge still yeah he it, it's hard yeah so as you can see if he's right in the middle he does that so uh, this is a very short episode, but in, in in the next episode, which is surely to be coming soon, we'll uh, go ahead and make a ground sprite for him to actually do. I'm actually going to make a new sprite right now, but I won't draw the ground sprite since we really need to do so. I'm just going to quickly call this ground. So yeah, you can just quickly draw a ground sprite, uh, but for now I'm just going to leave it like this. And yeah, bye. I, I really hope you enjoy um, and continue continue to be um, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, and doing whatever you can to support the channel. So yeah, that's it for now. And it's still a pretty cool thing, ex except for the fact that there's a lot of bugs. I, I still really like the smooth jump animation. So yeah, I might make a definition later, but now, for now, bye, and remember to, uh,